Hey, what's going on guys? Double One Eight Set Shadow here. So we're still in tournament season, regional season for the game, and right now for regionals it's still only going to be set one along with the starter decks. Once we pass September, set two should also start getting involved, but to that point, there isn't going to be as much effect right now when it comes to when it comes to prices based off regionals until we actually start seeing some more results when it comes to Reign of Bahamut in regionals. But even then, the number of players who can participate is limited to the number of people who qualified via the shop tournament, which means we're not going to see any new influx of players picking up stuff. It's going to be a limited number of players picking up that stuff. So the regionals shouldn't have too much effect on the market. It's more so going to be the number of players trying to make new decks through Reign of Bahamut. And taking a look at sealed product right now, the pre-orders for Reign of Bahamut right now are still pretty high. We're looking at $80 per box and $1,400 per case. So might be better just looking elsewhere to see if you can find them cheaper at your locals or other sites which may be doing pre-orders. But to be fair, I think a lot of sites that have been doing pre-orders may have sold out already, which contributes to these higher prices for those who are getting in late to the game. Then, of course, you've got Advent of Genesis, which boxes right now are $80, and then the starter decks are all hovering somewhere around $20, whether it's above or below. And then getting into singles, main thing I'm going to preface going in is that we're going to see some bigger movements on premiums with these cards. And the first one we're going over is Bell Ringer Angel, where right now, if you take a look, the premium foils are running out of quantities. And the one of the regular Bell Ringer Angel is over $40, $44 right now for its base. And then the Evo is currently $619 for its base on the premium. While if you want the regular gold of the base version, that's going to be $19 to start off with. And then the Evo regular gold is $138 to start off with. And yeah, Bellringer is one of those cards that will be played for a number of formats to come, which contributes to how it's going to retain value over time. Even if set one continues to get some reprints, if more players get into the game or more players want to build more decks, Bell Ringer is going to be a part of a lot of them. Then you've got Merlin, who, in my opinion, is still the best legendary to pull out of set one. And right now, the base version is $25 with eight listings, while the Evo is not nearly as hot, holding at $23 and, or sorry, 23 listings, $5. And then when you look at the super legendaries, the trend is the same. The Base version is $74 base and a market price of 53 ish Then you've got the Evo, which has a market price of 25 ish but its base listing is 20 And, I mean, this follows the trend. When it comes to Evos versus regulars and legendary cards, the base versions are always the ones that are more expensive. It's very rare for an evolved legendary to be more expensive than its base. Lucifer is something else to take a look at, as we've got a lot of listings of this card now at 41 listings, $15 for its base. And then if you want the Super Legendary, it's $22 right now. So it did pick up 17 listings overall, though, so there's still a fair quantity. And then if you want the Evo, still very easy to pick up. $1 for the regular Legendary, and for the Super Legendary, $10 is the base. Market price is not too far off from that. Aurelia Regelsaber. This one I had noted was going to be one of the more popular ones for set two, and it looks like players are really packing into the super legendary. Although the market price is still significantly low in comparison, so let's see if it's actually been selling. It's 15. Players are buying this for 15 right now, but the base listings are 2240. So, will players buy it at that higher value? Probably. As a it's 
a one or two of, I think, right now when it comes to mid-range sword coming into set two. And, I mean, Saber is Saber. I feel like it's also a popular unit for just its namesake, and also it's a pretty card. I really like how this one looks. You've also got Dark General, which is running out of listings for its premium foil. It's $7 base right now, 9 listings overall, and then if you just want to pick up the silver, you've got 19 listings for that one at $0.85 cents to start, so it's basically a dollar silver right now. And then the final card to go over for today is Prism Priestess, where when it comes to the premiums of this one, the Evo version is the one that's running out of quantities. Eight copies left, starting at $2, and then you've got 16 copies of the regular one for $4 to start off with. As for where the Evo is landing in terms of actual sales, players have recently bought this for $4 plus, so that $2 low has a $2 shipping tag, so it's actually $4 overall, so when you actually, oh, and we are running out of quantities of those ones too, so there are only, there are only about three copies that are $5 or less right now, and then it starts to get higher than that if you want to pick it up. And just to take a look, let's go ahead and see what the regular one is looking like. That one is selling for $5, and we have a number of copies available for $5 here. It is a little interesting to see that this one does have as many quantities as it does when the Evo is the one selling out. Normally, from what I've seen, gold rares are the ones that are lopsided, where the Evo is usually more expensive than the base. But I guess that's what's happening here with Prism Priestess, particularly just with the premiums, though. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later.